Welcome back to my courses of 2 Jaff uh, 10. And today um, we, uh, I think there's a lot of questions um, raised between the differences between 2 Jaff 9.2 and 2 Jaff 10. And today we'll discuss the difference between 2 Jaff 9.2 and 2 Jaff 10. The main big changes happen is not mainly in the content itself rather than the content restructuring of it if you see here for example it starts with like introduction and core concepts architecture development method the adm guidelines and technique they divided to adm techniques and applying the adm um, enterprise continuum and content architecture they merged in their architecture content and I found that also architecture capability framework, they all, uh, they put it or uh, rename it to enterprise architecture capability and governance. And uh, the last, the 2JF ADM, they put it as a second uh, uh, architecture development method and the introduction be same. But if you see the most uh, important thing is 2JF series guidelines, okay? And this is I need to discuss. So by watching to um, the forum director um, I attend for Mark Dixon for the Albany group at that time and he, he summarized that the model structure expanding content and domain specific material this is are the main changes in to uh, GAF uh, 10 the difference between to GAF 9.2 and to GAF uh, 10 so um, then if you see that um, they will be have a 20 new to GAF series guidelines. Um, st still, these are components still we supporting, they supporting into GAF 10, um, but there are more content added. Fundamental content is revised and reorganized. The fundamental content, as I showed you. 20 new to GAF series guidelines offering domain specific guidance and into GAF. So there's more content. And so if you are certified, it's nice to check these guidelines. And these are still supporting uh, uh, for it. Okay. Um, in terms of uh, modular structure, uh, we discuss how the changes. So uh, the fundamental content is stable, enduring, is same. Now this is our the focus, expanding content, and there's more white paper and guidelines. Okay, and the 20 specific, for example, there is more we talk how we manage agile enterprise architect. Business architecture is very nice, is more, uh, uh, more, more comprehensive. Uh, there's uh, specific guidelines, security architecture, data information architecture, reference model and method, and how establishing an EA team and general how to. Okay, so this is our more expanded uh, domain and in a specific content. So if you want to start in the Tujaf, you can already, they are publishing the opening group. This is the link and I can put this link below. Uh, and if you have any questions, please send me, don't hesitate to send me uh, regarding the exam on all, uh, whatever you are asking about to GAF 10. Um, the white paper, if you see, uh, this is the link again. Um, um, also, uh, we all yani, recommended to use the 10, the 2GAF 10, and uh, the Appendix A give detailed release notes for the changes to the fundamental uh, content. Okay. Um, the, the exams, as so far, um, is still uh, as of that date, still did not release for 2GAF 10. They have 2GAF uh, 9. It, there's a part one exam and there's part two exams or you can merge them in a one part two it will be more as a scenario if you see is eight but it's still one hour and 30 minutes because each have a big scenario big paragraph you need to read it and for that so this is as of uh the july 21th of july uh um the update that i shake in the two gaff and and didn't find and this is also uh, the link you can visit the link and i can put the link to shake about the exams thank you very much for watching me and uh, wish you a uh, best journey in enterprise architect with the two gaff 10. thank you and don't forget to subscribe